Welcome back. Okay, I'm a little overdue on my videos. I realize that. Uh, my son is off this week from school, so I've been trying to do some things with him. And um, so I've been doing a lot of thinking the last week or so um, about between my YouTube and my reselling. Um, so I had a commenter, I believe it was the last video, it was the last update video, um, who, <laughs> and this is why I appreciate the comments, said I kind of felt like I was scattered, or how did he, I can't remember how he put it, um, or I said I feel scattered sometimes. So, um, you know, that I should think about my goals, exactly what they need to be, and sort of zero in on them. So I did take that to heart. So if you're still watching this, thank you. I appreciate the constructive criticism. Um, so what I have done is I sort of sat down and figured out, okay, what do I need to do to improve my reselling business, streamline it, and hopefully eventually increase it um, or grow it? So I started typing up. Um, some goals. Now, the first one, to me, it's related to reselling because it's just going to help me feel better. Um, so the pretty much the number one right here is improving my own health. Obviously, I need to do that. Um, and really, all I'm going to do for now um, is just add a 30-minute walk every morning. So I realize I sit down in my chair too much. Um, between researching um, and going through things, I'm usually sitting down. Now, I do have a health problem that limits my movement, but the exercise will only help that issue. So that's sort of where my focus is on that aspect is just so that I'm improving my own health because the better I feel, the more I'll feel like going out and you know, sourcing and coming back and getting more of the sorting done and just being able to move around a little bit better than I normally do instead of just sitting down and researching all afternoon. Um, so the weekends I decided um, to, that will be my source and sort are the weekends. So we are just coming up to uh, tag sale season. It's a, it, we are just past mid February. I am in New England, and there are some things out there. Um, I did a haul video. That was one tag sale in my area that I was interested in. There are estate sales. I do go to those once in a while. I don't typically go in the winter. Um, for the most part, I find them at least in my area, to be priced well over what I needed to be at. So I don't usually do estate sales. Only if um, I'm actually in that area, it's along my way, then I'll maybe stop at one. If it looks overcrowded in that, then I will probably pass it because in my mind there's probably 20 resellers in there and, <laughs> and I just... I'm not the type to fight my way in or anything. So, all right. So, yeah. So weekends are going to be source and sort. Um, whatever I source for that weekend, I'm going to sort it out, clean it, and get it ready for listing starting Monday morning. Um, Monday through Friday is going to be at least listing at least 25 items. That's five items a day for sure. Um, I think I get caught up and go away down way too many rabbit holes when I am researching. So, um, I have to learn when I'm looking up comps and things to kind of focus in on where it needs to be. And, you know, if it's not where I need it to be, I got to learn to pass. I just have to. Um, cause before I was sort of okay, this is going to be worth this much. Okay, I can charge $10, $12, but I'm only going to make 4 or 5 you know, after um, shipping and fees and everything else. 
So I got to, which kind of leads me into the next one is being more picky <laughs> on my sourcing. Um, if I see any kind of value in something, I will probably try to pick it up for as cheap as I can. But um, it leads me to a lot of long tail sales. And <clears throat> while they do sell eventually, sometimes they can take a couple years. And I have to work on purging some things out. Um, some things are sort of nostalgic for me, so I just keep, let them sit in there. But for the most part, after the inventory back I did at the end of December, early January, um, I purged a lot of stuff out. I have a ton of stuff for the tag sale. And once that tag sale comes around, I'm not keeping it. It's like, if it doesn't get sold, it's probably going to get donated, free pile, or tossed. Um, usually donating and free pile and everything goes eventually. Um, okay, let's see what's next. Oop. Jeez. Oh, okay. So, and this is something that I have been doing for a couple weeks now, at least a couple weeks. Um, keep organizing the eBay space. I have gotten a lot of things out of here. I have been listing a lot of things that were in this room. Um, I am almost to the point where I can go into the next room and start pulling like one box at a time in here um, and just keep sorting things out um, and listing with that. So I'm still, you know, I'm going to have a death pile for at uh, I don't even want to guess at how long, probably at least the next year, um, because I think I've said that before. Once this room is done, I got the one next to this one, and then I've got the, our garage is just ungodly full. Um, and I'd like to use my garage for a garage. <laughs> I needed to work, do some work on my car, and my garage is so full I can't even park it in there and... That sucks in New England. Let me tell you, I have a garage and I can't put my car in there. So <laughs> I think of that every time I have to clear snow off of my car. Um, it's just like, nope, I, I really, I got to buckle down and get that garage cleaned out. Anyways, all right. Um, so the last thing at this point that I've decided to do is um, start my reseller genie. Um, I thought about it last year, but I thought, no, I'm still too small. I just don't want to, you know, get into that. I think I can, we can still handle it. And after doing, working with my husband on the taxes, um, a little while ago, I'm like, no, I, I need to, this need, this is another facet of my business that needs to be zeroed in on. And I need help figuring out, I, I think I've got a pretty good handle on uh, deductions and things like that. Um, but I feel like I'm probably missing things. Um, and we want it to be, you know, be done properly. Um, so I'm going to do that this year. I'll probably sign up for that in the next day or two. Um, see how things work on it. Um, but I think that's going to be a very important part of my business um, is doing that in the, the basic that they have is only $9.99 a month. So I should be able to handle that and, uh, and get that sign up for that. And hopefully that will help me keep track of all of those things. Um, you know, when I need those numbers during tax time, it won't be such a, a chore to, okay, I have that over here or I, you know, I do a lot of hand, you know, write in hand and paper stuff. This will help me keep track of it digitally and just keep it more organized. So those are my goals so far. So what I'm going to do is I've typed them out here, probably going to print that and I'm going to tack it to my door. So I'm always constantly looking at it. Um, I do that in my personal life. I do that with some things upstairs. Um, and it does help. It helps. I look at that board every morning and it makes me remember 
What do I need to do today? What's coming up next week? That kind of thing. Um, so the other thing, and I'm probably going to do another video, so I'll only talk about that this with my space update, which will probably be my next video, um, is I got a board. <laughs> I dare say what it is because I actually learned this Obviously, I watch other YouTubers, reseller YouTubers, so I got this one from Shed Flips, and I think it's a great idea. The momentum board is to write down my goals in the month, uh, early in the month, and keep them up there. And every day I'm in here, I can look at that and say, "Oh, geez, I'm falling behind. I need to, you know, uh, push ahead." So I think that's going to help keep me focused as well. Um, but I'll talk about that more in the next video because I gotta I think I gotta rearrange a couple of things because I did move this, some things around. I actually have to watch my last video because I moved some things around and I gotta figure out what you saw last. <laughs> so and what exactly did I move around since the last video? Because it's been a little bit longer than a week this time around. Um, so that's it for this video. Um, you know, I just wanted to put my goals out there that my update videos and things seem to be doing really well. Um, and I'm very happy about that. I'm very happy for the commenters. Um, it, it helps me. So if you want to comment again, maybe you got another idea that I can try. Um, you know, about how to keep myself focused on things. Um, that would be great. I enjoy <laughs> constructive criticism, okay? No meanness, just constructive. Um, not that anybody has or anything, but I've seen things in other YouTubers, and I'm really hoping that doesn't go this way, but who knows? You know, I put it out there, what it is, it is. Um, all right, so please like and subscribe. Um, comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.